Hey guys, my name is SickabeeOT1, and this is Earthbound. Once more, we are Jeff. I am told by the walkthrough that I can drop the ruler. What is the ruler supposed to do? You can use this during battle. It can be used many times. Well, it doesn't explain what it does. Well, I know what it does. You can use this. Okay. Um, the walkthrough says that these are useless, so I'm gonna get rid of these for the greater good. Like, I know in real life they're supposed to measure things, but I don't see how that is gonna be useful. And neither does the walkthrough real- Okay, I think I just went down when I should've went up when I went down. Ugh, uh, uh, uh. yeah. Hello, Mr. Person. Hello, T Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking at a late night stack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father and Dr. Internets were here, you'd be able to provide a great he deal of help. Yeah. Apparently he's useful. This is exposition. <clears throat> Take this key along. Okay. That will help. Okay, thank you. Maybe if you leave, call me and record your adventure. It's like saving the game. <laughs> okay, well. I guess I could do that, but I've also got that save state. I think I'll be fine. So. This one is locked. Um. It doesn't fit in. Okay, well. Okay, so, since this doesn't work, I'm supposed to take it back to Maxwell, and he will and talk to him about it. I don't think I ever did this when I originally played this game. It didn't work. Okay, so I just invented a machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. That's... Yeah, sure. Bad key machine. Okay. And this is kind of foreshadowing what Jeff can do. When you're healing overnight, he will have a, the chance of fixing broken items, so I guess you want to give whatever broken items you have to him. Fortunately, there's nothing in the locker. I'm gonna check all of these. Because Jeff is weak and he needs all the help he can get. <laughs> A Holmes hat. Okay. Well, then there you go. Uh, this probably just goes on other. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot of defense. That is multiplying his defense by six. Is that sextupling his defense? Is that what that is? That's probably all there is to this. I'm not looking at the walkthrough to see what else I can get, but... Pop gun! Okay, that's my weapon. Pop gun. <laughs> that just multiplied my offense by eight. I mean, nine. It, uh, by nine. By nine. Thought I heard some sort of loud clicking. Nothing in there. And... Broken air gun. Okay, which one is going to be better? Um, pop gun... Oh, wait. It, it did say it was broken, so maybe I should hold on to this. Maybe he will be able to use this better and it'll be better than the pop gun I have. And then I'm running low on things. So... I want to keep the big bottle rockets. I'll drop one of the cookies, because they don't really recover that much health anyway. Okay. Alright. Let's, let's go. Okay, we gotta get out of here. It's been surprisingly easy to get out. Okay, now you use me as a st Oh, there we go! Bye bye We are the best friends forever, except you'd never appear for the rest of the game. So I don't buy that crap. Alright, we are... <laughs> we're roaming the streets as a- it's not the streets. We're roaming this place as a boy genius. Don't even know what this is for. <laughs> Some of the layouts can feel... random. Anyway, this episode is brought to you by... Coke Zero. What else would it be brought to you by? It's one of my videos. <laughs> Uh, point aside. Oh, okay. I don't know why I'm coming in here. I don't have money. I don't even think I can get any. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have access to this. Okay, let's see. I guess I can buy gum. I guess I'm supposed to buy gum? Or just talk to the monkey? Hello, monkey. Can I help you with anything? Okay, I can't buy the gum. Never mind. Okay. This is a, there's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you buy a pack of bubble gum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he will cost you a buck. So what do you want? Yes. Okay. Okay. You got the pack of gum. I'm gonna eat a cookie. It's not gonna do anything, but I don't care. Come with me, monkey. Yeah. Okay. I have a pet monkey. Does it take space in my inventory? Nope. Good. It's <laughs> yeah, I didn't think he would take space. Okay. Um, we're gonna get into any battles. 
I think you do eventually as Jeff, but they're weak at- yeah, like this Billy Goat. I can probably beat him. I can beat him. No problem. Uh -huh. Yeah, see, I'm fine. I'm, <laughs> I'm inexperienced, but I'm going up against a goat and doing just fine. No wonder they gave me all the cookies. Uh, at least the bubble monkey is trying to help. Come on. Uh-huh. Come on. There we go. I liked two... I liked one-shotting things. I can't one... Oh, I got... That was good enough to get me a couple levels, though, so maybe from this point on I can one-shot things. Okay, cookie. Okay. Another cookie, please. Not to say that that would be full, fill out my HP, but I don't think... You know. But I gained three levels. I mean, no, I gained two levels, so my max HP is not 30 anymore. It's more than that. Well, whatever. This should be fine. <laughs> One measly... What?! Okay, that's more than you were doing before. You jerk. Okay, now that's less. Good. Come on. Let's three-shot this thing. Come on. Three shot! Three shot! Yes, thank you. Okay. Where we go! Alright. <laughs> level five. No, level four. Just level four. Keep eating those cookies, they're good for you. They are good for you and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> That's why you go in and get that thing. We got a tent. Okay. Get in here. What do you have to offer me? The tame animals have become wild. Something evil is going on. Huh, okay. So why don't you rest here for a short while? Have something to drink, perhaps some tea? Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Excuse me. Feeling much better now? Good luck! Okay, I guess I wasted cookies. Thank you. Cheers! Try to get to level 5 or 6 before you move on. Okay, that's- that is- oh god, I spilled. I spilled. I'm gonna be right back, I need to clean that up. I spilled my soda. The mess has been dealt with. Let's beat up a dog by shooting it. Let's shoot a dog. <laughs> okay, walk through suggests level five or six. Uh, five should be enough because I th think then. Um, how, how many experience points do I need to get? Forty-four. Okay, <laughs> which is double the experience points I currently have. So, let's hope we find more goats. Uh, it's not gonna find any goats over here, or anything for that matter. Okay. Come on, monkey. You're, you're my monkey. You're my monkey. You're literally my monkey. LITERALLY! Yeah, I like that throwback. <laughs> uh, <coughs> okay. Didn't give us a lot of experience, but at least it gave us a bread roll. Thank you very much. And... What do you do? Oh, crow? I can... I can probably just one-shot the crow by now. No, I still have to battle it. You don't trust me enough to just beat up a crow. Oh, come on, that, that nothing happened on that turn. Those are my least favorite kinds of turns. Also, why is there a crow here and not a billy goat? Or whatever they the game calls it. Thank you for the cookie. I very much appreciate it. Uh, where are the billy goats? Oh, that's great, there's a butterfly right there and I can't even use it. Not because, not just because I can't get back in there, but because Jeff doesn't have any PP. He doesn't learn any magic spells. That is some weird design. Also, uh, on top of the shop, giving you, th uh, offering things that you can't really buy. Because I don't think you can even return back to this area once you leave. We beat the crow. Crow is dead. Eating crow! That's always a phrase that I thought was really weird. Why would you eat crow? That doesn't make sense. There, there must be some sort of cultural reason. Some sort of historical story. I don't know. <laughs> it's always been weird to me, the phrase, eat crow. Okay. Um, 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 I can't find any more Billy Goat. Oh, there's Billy Goat. Yeah, let's go for that. And not the crow that's chasing me. Oh, how do I get down? Do I just jump? Okay, I can't, I can't get down there. Uh, okay. Maybe I just go around here. So that's probably it, right? And that billy goat respawned. Huh? Why is that a back attack? Whatever, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a little confused as to why that was a back attack, because that, that looked like I was attacking his front. Ah, uh, well, uh... Why do the goats despawn? <laughs> I mean, usually in games when you get rid of an enemy and you come back, it respawns. That's usually how it works. Okay, there we go, got it to respawn. 
now that I was able to beat this thing just fine at Gruff Goats. Okay, he's not even doing that much. Whatever. It's whatever. Right out of me only takes two damage. That's pretty good. It's pretty good for a nerd. And 20 XP. Okay, that's... Not level... We're not leveling up any... F we're not leveling up every fight anymore. That's just not happening. Do you have anything... Anything of interest? Nope. Nothing in here. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Uh... So my stat is... Six? Yeah, I'll be fine. Um... In here? I just want to find everything. If I find Tessie, do you think I'm a newspaper? I'm looking for 15 minutes of fame. Uh-huh. Sure. You know, 15 minutes of fame, it's easier to reach on the internet. It's still not easy, but it is still... possible. Whatever. I'm gonna find another enemy. Yep, there we go. Got a gruff coat. Beaten by one damage from the monkey. Okay, level five. Here we go. And I'm gonna eat some cookies. Because, well, I'm gonna eat some bread rolls, yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna eat just one of them. And I need a cookie. Thank you. Thank you. Come with me, monkey. Come with me, monkey. You're my monkey. I already told you that you're my monkey. And so you already should know that. So you have a the Tessie Mania. Tessie Mania. Okay. I'm cooking for the Tessie Wascot. Yeah, sure. There's no need to pay me. Okay, thank you. You are a friend who I've never met before. Jeff. Head south. I am Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Yep, I'm doing that. Woohoo! Defense spray. Nice. That is nice. Is that a permanent thing, or is it just a one-time use? Let's check. This is an example of Jeff's gift of use. Jeff gift at use. Increase one of the friend's during defense during battle. It's most effective use this powerful multiple times to layer the effect gone after one use. That's kind of contradictory. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, here we go. So that was an event. Okay, <laughs> I was wondering, can I move? This is what we've been waiting for. Finally, it's coming out. Yay! Toilet humor in a Nintendo game. They don't really do that that often, so whatever. That was that was actually kind of a good, good fart joke. Whatever. Yeah. I remember seeing. Oh, ha! <laughs> this man! This man! The man who's gonna take my picture. That's exactly where I need to be. Okay, you weirdo. Anyway, <sighs> toilet humor. Was this? It's not Captain Underpants. Uh, this is back in the summer. I'm saying it like it's recent, but I saw that in the summer, and I enjoyed it. Lots of toilet humor, though, more than I remembered. I mean, I guess, what can you expect from a guy called Captain Underpants, but... And this is somebody who read the books. I I just forgot, I guess, that it's, that it's loaded like that. And it was awkward watching it with my mom, not gonna lie. I would probably have enjoyed it more if I had seen it on my own terms. Blech. Ah. Okay, okay. Tessie. <laughs> These guys have been trying to find Tessie maybe for a good chunk of their lives, and we just found him. We just found her like that. Uh, I'm snapping my fingers. Snapping them. <laughs> Alright. We are off to save some boy, a boy and a girl that we have never met before. Don't know why I'm making weird mouth sounds. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Why am I coming the Eagles of Death Metal? This is some grade A commentary. This is some this. This is some content here. This is entertaining content here. It's your in-flight movie. I don't know. It's not an in-flight movie. Okay. 
I guess there are boring parts of games. There are intentionally boring parts of games, but... WE JUST rode ON THE LOCH NESS MONSTER! That was pretty cool. <sighs> we got more Billy Goats, though. Billy Goats on the horizon. Thank you for that. How much XP until level 6? 122, so it is gonna be... Oh, wait, 50! 50, 50, no, 122 is what I have. Oh. For some weird reason. <laughs> it still says for some weird reason, but... There's no way... <laughs> okay. I'm... Um, Dungeons, dungeons, even in this game, dungeons don't really have an entrance fee. Again, I'm, I'm wondering why I got an opening, a back attack, oh, come on! I, I wondered why I got a back attack, and you took it away from me. Thank you, game. Uh, at least, at least Jeff doesn't suffer from homesickness, mo mostly because his actual home sucks. It's like a boarding school or something, I think. At least I think that's what they were going for. Man, I just talked through that entire battle. I didn't need to do that. Okay. Red roll! Thank you. Alright. Got this maze here. Welcome to my modest dungeon. Frick Road! Hello, mouse. You're probably not gonna be that difficult. Except maybe you are, because... Why else would I be encouraged to fight this enemy after grinding a bunch? Yeah, you're still alive. Oh god. That's... At least I two-shotted him, but Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna eat a cookie. Oh, level six! Nice. Every level is... progress. Every level is progress. When it comes to RPGs, especially... ones like this. We got here... Red roll, yes! Thank you. That should come in handy. Yeah, you, you, you can figure a way around, you stupid little monkey. Oh, it's a goose! It's a goose! <laughs> it's like you glued googly eyes on a pile of feathers. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> I remember this sprite and all, but I, but looking at it now, I just find it humorous that this exists. Okay, it looked at me like that was some sort of attack. Like you're trying to lower my stats or something. I just love this this duck, and he, it's, and it's not just because he gave me 41 experience insecticide spray. Okay, guess that's gonna work on bug enemies, but it's gonna be one-time use. He has a lot of one-time use spray items, and I don't see myself using. Oh, you dirty stinker! You little stinker, worthless protoplasm. So this shouldn't. Uh, I don't think this is an enemy that even attacks you, is it? <laughs> I mean, Worthless is in the title of the enemy name. Title of the enemy name, uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it gives decent XP for what Jeff is. Bleh. I wonder what its overworld sprite would... I kind of want... Oh! Iron. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, obviously, I'm gonna have Jeff hold that for now. I think eventually that can become a weapon for Paula, and by I think, I mean... It would make sense. Like, it's supposed to be a successor to the frying pan or something. Don't take anything I say at face value for what we have to... Experi- What? What? Uh, again? Again? Really? Okay. Fine. Fine, take my picture again. That's okay. That's fine. Go ahead. I'm gonna say Fuzzy Pickles. I'm not gonna do the- I'm not gonna do the peace sign, though. I'm not- All right, you stupid duck. Let's let's battle again. Let's do this. So at one point, the duck took away my ability to use PSI. I don't. I'll, I don't have the ability to use PSI already. So you you kind of just wasted your turn, you stupid duck. Yeah, my duck is the duck is my new favorite thing in this game officially because it's so stupid and awesome looking. Yeah, I mean you thought Ranboob. You, yeah, you thought Ranboob was. The pinnacle of enemies in this game? No, the Mad Duck. That's my new favorite enemy in this game. Oh. <laughs> okay, thanks Thanks for the fodder. Thank you for giving me more to grind off of. Oh, you can actually attack. Yeah, okay. Okay, you can attack. I get it now. <sighs> I guess I was mistaken. Again, you shouldn't take anything I say about this game at face value. Because I don't know squat. I don't know why I pretend to. Level 7, though. Gaining all the levels. 
I'm smacking my lips while I'm doing it, and it is intentional. Me smacking my lips is intentional. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mouse. If a rat or a mouse were to bite me in real life, I would probably... Oh. Okay. Whatever. If I if a mouse bit me in real life, I would cut. I would probably panic a lot. But in a game, it's like, eh, they'll be fine. Uh, okay, we gotta we gotta equip. Will the stun gun do more than a pop gun? Definitely, yes, yes. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna ditch the pop gun. And I guess there's no real reason to continue to carry it, especially since it's just gonna take up space in my inventory like everything else I have. We still need the gum pack. If I can get rid of the gum pack, I will. Um, or maybe there's an animation of... Okay. <laughs> okay. Or maybe I need to keep that. I should probably keep that. We got a telephone! I guess I can save here. Maxwell Labs. Hello. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. No, I don't. I'm kind of such a hard worker. I've gotten you... Uh, okay. Okay. So, I think this might be a good place to call the episode. So, in the next episode, we're going to continue to look for... I am Jeff. We're going to continue to look for Ness and Paula. So, take care.